Hello, this is Villa Braves and welcome back to my Leeds United FIFA 16 career mode. And today, Leeds United host Hull City. The teams met in, back at the end of, this, of September and played out a 1-1 draw. Leeds come into today's game on the back of their 3-1 victory away at Nottingham Forest last week. And we hope to carry on that winning run today. the Hull's liner. Then the 4-5-1. And Hull will get us underway. Gerardi into Antonucci. And big cut. There's a run there by Mowis. It's a crossover. There's a header and that's just wide. Wood didn't get a really clean head on it, but uh, it was a chance. Both sides giving the ball away. Oh, and it's broken for Wood. And Wood. And he's put that well wide. That was a poor effort, really. He was great opportunity. There's a cross, and there's a header, and that's just past the post there from Wood. Or was that Antonucci? No, it was Wood. Another good opportunity. And that's going to be a corner for Leeds. That's a mistake by the whole defender, but we have two minutes of added on time at the end of the first half, and Leeds have a corner. It's Bakakar will swing over to the near post, and it's headed clear. Good hold-up play by Wood again. Great for a throw in, but there... In fact, goes the half-time whistle. It's Leeds United nil, Hull City nil. Not many clear-cut chances. Neither side taking the game by the scruff of the neck. So it's Leeds nil, Hull nil at half-time. So welcome back as Leeds United get us underway. Start of the second half. Now Leeds with Mowat down the left, there's a cross in, and Maguire has it clear for a corner. And there's a header, oh and Cook couldn't guide it in at the far post. And there's a Leeds player down. Leeds has put the ball out. So Leeds are forced into a substitution. Bamboo has picked up a little bit of a knock there and Leeds don't want to take a chance of him being out for a longer period than necessary. So Bamba will hobble off. And Kai will come on in his place. Oh, hole. Get it forward and there's a shot from Fernandez, but Silvestri equal to it. And there's a dangerous looking cross and Belushki tries to deal with it. Oh, and that's a mess up. But Leeds get away with it. A mix up between Belushki and Silvestri and it's a corner to Hull. It's headed clear. Let's play back in again. Comes to Huddleston. And there's a little shot. And that goes wide. And Mowit into Wood. Holds the ball up again. Cook. And 
Antonucci. Plays it in towards Bridcup. And, and Antonucci's got it back. And Antonucci scores. What a wonderful move by Leeds. Great play there. And Leeds United in the 73rd minute take the lead. Great interchange. Antonucci carried his run on. And that's a great finish. Beats the keeper at the near post. That's a wonderful goal. And Antonucci, yet again, is the Leeds goal scorer. He's 12th of the campaign so far. No hole. Right down the left. And the ball's played in. Oh, and what a fantastic save by Silvestri. We're into the 90th minute now. And Hull may get caught out on the break here. There's a good cross in by Dallas and the keeper fists it clear. Breaks to Bridcut. He can't find another Leeds player. No, Hull looking for an equaliser. We have three minutes of added on time. And Sylvester is going to go out and clear that one into the stands. And Hull knock it long. And that's a great ball and Sylvester is coming for it and Sylvester has completely mistimed that. And Leeds will get away with it so far but it's in there again and Sylvester this time claims the ball. And there goes the final whistle. Leeds United have beaten Hull City by one goal to nil. Antonucci's 12th goal of the season. Enough for the three points for Leeds today. A pretty even game, not many chances. As we see the other scores. And we'll take a look at the table now. For Leeds. Still in 13th place on 30 points. But most importantly, they've reduced the number of points to nine now from the playoff places. So they're gradually creeping them, creeping up there. So this is Villa Braves and join me for the next game, which is in two days time, which is going to be away at Derby County. Hello and welcome to today's game where Leeds United are away at Derby County where Leeds will be looking to hopefully do the double over Derby having beaten them back in September when Antonucci's 93rd minute winner was the difference between the sides. Derby playing a pretty attacking 4-3-3. Leeds have a number of changes today um, due to lack of fitness on some players since they only played two days ago. Um, Leeds will be playing a 4-5-1. Derby will get us underway. He's had a Amy bursting through. An early chance for Leeds. Nadi Amy, all his shots blocked, and that's going to be a corner. Oh no, the referee's given a goal kick. Nadi Amy must have had the last touch. Antonucci now finds Nadi Amy, he's trying to get forward again. Oh, and he's got his way into the penalty area. Nadi Amy, oh, great save by Carson. Corner for Leeds. And there's a shot. Oh, and it's off the bar. Took a deflection. Good early pressure here from Leeds. And well, there's a shot, and that's just wide. Snapshot by Andres Weiman, the ex 
Aston Villa player. So there'll be two minutes of added on time at the end of the first half. And there goes the whistle for half time. It's Derby County nil, Leeds United nil. A couple of chances. Welcome back as Leeds get us underway for the second half. And Bryson, there's a good ball. And there's a shot by Martin, but that's well wide. Good opportunity though. Leeds managed to get it clear. Leeds having made a couple of changes. And now Carriol bursting down the left. Looks inside. There's a ball there for Adiyemi. Adiyemi goes on and the shot is deflected. And that's going to be another corner to Leeds. Gia Guraga to take it. Oh, when it comes out to Adiyemi on the edge of the area. And Adiyemi goes for the shot. Oh, what a goal. Great strike from Adiyemi. Goes for the side foot, curling effort. And beats Carson. And Leeds take the lead in the 78th minute. Wonderful strike from Adiyemi. Corner came over. It was headed clear. Adiyemi got it under control. And from just outside the area... Curls one with the inside of the foot into the far corner. Carson at full stretch, couldn't keep it out. And Leeds take the lead with 12 minutes plus stoppage time to go. Oh, and Dakar has won the ball back now. And he's got the whole of the half to run into, he's going wide, goes for the crossover, and there's a header at the back post, and Adiyemi has his second goal, and Leeds United are now two goals in front, wonderful play by Jakara, won the ball back, great crossover, and Adiyemi from about two yards, heads into the net, and Leeds United are a few moments away now from winning their third game. Now, Leeds again, plenty of space. Now, Dia Garaga's free. Finding his way into the penalty area. He crosses, that's going to be a call. Oh no, the referee's pointing to the spot. That's a penalty. And it's all going wrong for Derby County in these last 15 minutes. And Leeds United, Dukara. Has the opportunity now to make it 3-0. Dukara scores and leads. Have another three points in the bag. And it's turned out to be quite a convincing win. And leads now 3-0 up away from home. Dukara. Great penalty. And that's Dukara's first goal of the season as well. So three goals in the space of eight minutes for Leeds. And Derby. A spent force now. As we enter stoppage time, of which there'll be three minutes. It comes out to Keo at the end of, on the edge of the area, and there's a shot, but Silvestri saves at his near post. And there goes the final whistle. 
it's turned out to be a convincing 3-0 win for Leeds. So Leeds, comfortable winners then by a score of three goals to nil. So as we look at the table following that 3-0 win at Derby, we will see now that Leeds are up to 11th and on 33 points. And now we're seven points behind the last playoff place, which is currently held by Millsborough. Um, Leeds will now look to, to kick on and uh, hopefully we can get a few players in to strengthen the squad during this transfer window and um, I think what I'll do um, I'm not going to show you all my negotiations and bids putting in I'll just do a, a show you a screenshot of, of the bids that I've put in and, and how the transactions are going or any you know definite incomings or outgoings um, to save going through the whole process of, of showing that so that's what I, I intend to do um, so now we're into January so I'm I should be uh, looking at trying to sign at least uh, a, another forward um, a minimum of one sort of wide player whether it be left or right that that's got a bit of pace and can cross the ball um, I desperately need cover at centre half now centre back and uh, and at left back um, as I only have one left back anyway but at centre back um, I've got a, a long term injury um, so I, I I do want to get get another centre back in whether that they come in as permanent moves or whether they come in as low moves um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see so anyway uh, join me for the next episode and that will feature uh, the FA Cup third round where Leeds have been drawn at home to Sheffield United. So this is Villa Braves.